Hi, I'm Oliver, Wi-Fi support technician at Mitsubishi Electric, New Zealand. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your heat pump or LOSNE to the Wi-Fi. Before we get started, you'll need to have downloaded the Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi control app through the App Store or Google Play Store and have registered an account. To get started, you'll need to access the Wi-Fi interface box, which can usually be found under the heat pump's front panel or in a compartment on the exterior of the unit. You should see the green unit light flashing by itself, which indicates that the interface is in its default settings. If you see any other lights on the interface, you might need to reset it by holding the reset button for up to 15 seconds. Now, there are two ways to pair the interface. The first is through WPS, which is unfortunately not available on all routers, but is the quicker of the two ways. To begin this pairing method, first press the WPS button on your router. There might be some lights that flash up to indicate that it's been activated. Now, head back to the interface on the heat pump or LOSNE and press and hold the mode button for two seconds until the orange mode light starts flashing. You must activate WPS on the router and the interface within two minutes of each other. The interface should now automatically pair to your home Wi-Fi. Keep an eye on the lights of the interface. You should see the green net light come on as well as the green unit light letting you know that the interface has been paired successfully. If your router doesn't support WPS, you can connect the interface through access point mode. Press and hold the mode button on the interface for up to seven seconds. You should now see the orange mode light begin flashing once every five seconds, letting you know that the interface has been put into access point mode. Next, go to the connections or Wi-Fi settings on your phone, where you would normally connect to any other network you should see a new one pop up there that begins with ME- and then a few numbers and letters afterwards. It should match the SSID on the back of the interface. Put in the key that's in the back of the interface to connect your phone to that ME network. Once your phone is connected to that ME network, it might say no internet connection, which is fine. Now, you want to open up the Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi control app. You should be prompted to select your home network. If you have two, make sure you select the 2.4 GHz band. Enter your home Wi-Fi password and hit connect. After you've put in your home Wi-Fi password, you should see the green net light come on, as well as the green unit light, letting you know that the interface has been connected successfully. After your unit has been connected to the internet, you may need to add it to your account. Do this in the Mitsubishi Electric Wi-Fi control app by selecting add new unit and then putting in the Mac and ID numbers. You should now see the app control for your heat pump or LOSNE. Give it a go and try turning the unit on or off or changing the temperature. Thanks for watching. And if you need more information, head to mitsubishielectric.co.nz.